This is the video tutorial for the DIY macrame planter craft kit. I'm first going to run through the video in super high speed and then I'll slow it down and talk you through again step by step. You're going to want to get out all of your supplies that come in the kit uh, as well as some tape. The first thing we want to do is we want to gather all eight strands together and tie a knot. We want to leave about three inches at the end to create a tassel. Then we're going to tape that knot down uh, onto the table. We're going to separate our string into four groups of two strings each. We're going to tie a knot in each of those groups about an inch down from the center. So basically right along the top of the tape there. Uh, and we're going to lay them down next to each other. We want to make sure our knots are tight and even. Uh, and so we're going to have four knots at the top. Each knot is two strings together. We're going to take one string from the first knot, one string from the second knot, and we're going to tie that together. So basically, if all of our strings are laying next to each other, we're taking string two and three, we're tying those together. Then we're taking string four and five and tying those together. Then we're taking string six and seven, tying those together, and then uh, eight and one and tying those together. Uh, and so when we connect those, we'll have a circular shape. It'll complete the row. We're going to pull any slack in the strings. We're going to make sure our knots are tight and even. And then once we have that row complete, we're going to repeat the steps again. And so we'll start over where we take one string from the first knot, one string from the second knot, tie them together. Uh, so basically, uh, we're going to connect one string to the, you know, one string from the knot next to it. Uh, so two to three, four to five, five to six, uh, or, or six to seven, eight to one, uh, to create another circular pattern. Uh, and then pull that slack, make sure all the knots are nice and even uh, and nice and tight. Uh, then you can insert your pot into the center stretch or adjust your knots accordingly. Uh, you, If you want to create the hanger at that point, uh, you just um, lace all of your strands through the metal ring and tie a knot at the top. Uh, if you want to create another row, you would just repeat steps four to eight. Uh, you can adjust your knots uh, if you need to. Uh, otherwise, that's it. That's the basic steps of this project. So from the beginning, we're going to gather all eight strands together. We're going to make them nice and even. We're going to do a big old knot at the top, again, like three inches or so down. Uh, if you want a bigger tassel, like a longer tassel at the bottom, it could be further down. You have plenty of room with this. Uh, you probably could actually make two plant hangers if you wanted to out of the amount of string you have. Uh, but make that big old knot. Make sure... Uh, you know, it's nice and even, nice and tight, uh, and nice and secure. And then we'll tape that knot down uh, to the table, make it a little easier for us. Uh, and then lay all those strings out nice and flat uh, so that we can start on our next row. So again, I'm just, you know, taping it down. And then I'm going to create four sections. So uh, string one and two I'll put together, uh, three and four, five and six, and seven and eight. And I'll put knots, and I'm going to do right along the bottom of the tape. Uh, I'll do the knot that's about an inch or so down. Uh, and I want to, make, want to make sure that my knots are nice and tight, nice and even, uh, very secure. Uh, again, it's, it's really important that the rows are as even as you can get them uh, and nice and secure. You don't want them to have any slack uh, so that uh, your plant hanger is nice and secure. And about an inch or so is all you need. These are really small pots, so uh, you, can, um, you can keep those uh, rows pretty, uh, pretty small uh, between them. Uh, so you're just making those knots, those sections of two strings each uh, for that first row. And uh, once those knots are there, again, double check, make sure they're all nice and tight, nice and secure. And you have that first row done, uh, and that's the four sections. 
So the second row is when you start interconnecting uh, the sections. And so we're going to take one string from the first knot, one string from the second knot. So if you're looking at them, it's string two and three, and then string uh, four and five, and then six and seven, and then eight and one uh, if you're connecting them. So I've got two and three there. I'm making a knot, and then I'm securing it making sure it's nice and tight, nice and even. Then I've got uh, string four and five there, same thing. I'm making a knot, trying to make it even with the one next to it. And it's just about an inch or so down. And then same thing, uh, that's in six and seven. And connecting that and then connecting eight to one and at this point it's making it into a circle and so this is where it starts to get tricky sometimes because you got to really make sure it's the string next to it you know you're you're grabbing your neighbor uh, string at that point from the knot next to it uh, this is when it can it start to get tricky for people uh, so uh, at this point you're going to start a new row about an inch down. Same thing. We're going to grab one from the one next to it about an inch down and make a knot. And then same thing. Go next to it. Uh, one from the one next to it. Uh, connect those two together. Repeat the steps. Uh, one string and then grab one from the one next to it. Connect them together make a knot. Again, try to make sure that they're secure and even uh, and nice and tight. And then again, that final one on this row. And then you have uh, all four on the row. Again, make sure they're tight. Make sure they're even, nice and secure. And at this point, that should be all the rows you need. So you can remove your tape, you can insert your pot, adjust your knots, make sure it's nice and secure in there. You can decide if you want to do another row uh, or not. This same pattern can be used with more strands, with bigger pots. Uh, you could take it and go all the way up. I've done some with this same pattern and I've just keep going with it and uh, you can fit like a water bottle in it and, and put like a carabiner at the top and attach it to like your backpack. Uh, it's uh, great for putting like a water bottle. Um, you can uh, make a bigger one with more strands and uh, use it as like a, a mesh bag um, to carry like produce uh, and things like that. Anyway, once you've got uh, your pot in there, you're going to lace all the strings through the ring at the top and just make a knot. And that's your, that's your plant hanger. This is a super simple project. Uh, so, uh, like I said, though, this design is really easy to do. I like to use this same uh, sort of method to recycle the, uh, the Wii yogurt jars. Um, it's really good for that. You can get a little votive from, like, the dollar store. And same thing, uh, they'll fit. Uh, just get some string or some yarn, uh, and uh, it's really simple. You can add more strands and do, uh, you know, the same concept where you're just knotting the knot next to it. You can do your knots closer together or further apart, uh, but same thing. You can add some beads to it. Uh, you know, you can get real creative with it, but I hope you enjoyed this project. Have fun, make it your own.